Hey, what's up, guys? It's G here. I'm going to show you how to download, install, and run, play Frets on Fire using Guitar Hero World Tour drums. More importantly, to start this, you will need the Xbox 360 to PC wireless adapter, and that is to connect the wireless drums to your PC. If you have Rock Band 1 drums, those will plug straight into the USB port on the front of the PC. Now, this all applies to the Xbox 360 based hardware. So, with that being said, let's get started. We are going to go to the Frets on Fire homepage. And, well, not the homepage, but the uh, development page for Frets on Fire 10. Click on the newest version for download on the downloads page. And save it to wherever it is you save it to. But I already have it, so I'm just going to skip that for now. And then, you're going to go to wherever it is it's saved to and you're going to run the program so let's run it and you're going to click next agree to the terms of services click next and take it to wherever it is you want to install it in my case I installed it to the save games folder so, so I'm just going to skip out of this alright cool so now you have Brett's on fire installed let's continue on to the next step let's go back to the internet go to the frets on fire page to where tune posting is the thread you're going to be looking for which is right here and then you'll have several different threads to choose from but in this case I'm going to choose a drum topic and first of all it's going to load this which is your user based custom charts for drums you can even download the two Carmageddon charts from here which you will see them on there and then you have others as well and this is just a growing list so it, it's pretty much endless at this point so let's say I want to play Unearth, which does sound pretty good right about now as you can see it's an expert and expert plus chart and the thing about that is if you don't have expert plus you can still play on expert so let's grab that chart by clicking here and when you click here you're gonna get a pop-up and a download page so don't get confused oh wow I didn't get the pop-up in front of the download page so let's save that to my desktop there it is now that it's downloading to the desktop you can actually close out this pop-up page too as well as the other page now there it is now what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract the file I use WinRAR and then inside this folder will be another folder containing all the information for the song so you're going to want to copy or cut this folder and then go to your frets on fires directory and if you don't have one you're going to create a songs folder like right here and me personally i have it categorized to where i know where all my drum customs are and you'll post it in your songs folder in my case my songs drum customs folder does this sound confusing? I apologize. Alright. Now, I personally also downloaded a theme, which you can go look at on the Frets on Fire forum page. As you can see, I got my computer on display on my screen here. It's just my TV. This is not my actual computer monitor. Well, I use it for my computer monitor. Either way. Um, anyway, so here's what I got. I was telling y'all that this is for the Guitar Hero World Tour drums which I have my Guitar Hero World Tour drum brain right here in hand it is customly cut, it's got the midi hole and the kick drum and extended trigger which nobody has ever figured out what that's for I don't think and this will basically also represent your Guitar Hero World Tour drum set because this is what's mounted to the kit whenever you first get it stock but I use electronic drums and that would be these right here as you can see You've seen them in videos, but that's the setup that I use. Alongside, there's a kick pedal with a single tower with a double pedal right now. Anyway, so here's what you'll do. I mentioned also you will need the Xbox 360 wireless adapter for the PC. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to turn on your drums. Then you're going to hit the sync button on the drums and hit the sync button on the adapter and then that will assign this to this. This is very important you do this before you start the game. Now, you'll either connect, now your World Tour drums will either have been connected, and if it's the first time installing, a download option, or something will come up around here, it will say installing new hardware. Again, this is all for the Xbox 360. Now, for you e-drummers, 
who have this specific mod made or what may have you you want to get a MIDI cable and you're going to plug your MIDI cable into your MIDI input trigger jack on the drums so there's that which connects to my Roland TD3 which is assigned to these pads okay now that we have that connected let's start up frets on fire we will start frets on fire by clicking on or in my case pressing enter on the frets on fire dialog so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to options and set your display I usually have full screen and highest possible resolution my computer is also capable of being able to push it at its strongest potential and you can see I have kids Rockman 2 theme highlighted alright now let's set up your controller and as you can see I already got G's drum set up but I'll show you how to set up a controller you're gonna go to add controller you're gonna give it a name so in this case I'll give it the GH drums so there you go now this is your setting up your controller and pushing your buttons and you can see that it's, under, it's got a default guitar a standard guitar highlighted you don't want that you want four pad drums or a drum kit for drums and you'll see that it, change, it changes your setup options here and drum one is red, drum two is yellow blue, green, kick and then you got your arrows which you can assign those to the world tour rock band kit so let's go ahead and show you how to do all that and here's what I do to make sure that the electronic kit is working and in progress now take your drumstick now drum one if you hit enter and it'll tell you to hit the drum or press the button you hit red pad done drum two yellow pad done three blue four green now here's what's cool if you have the world tour kit and you got the orange symbol you can actually assign that to blue right here and so you can use blue and orange for blue and in your kick drum Boom, done. Now, your arrows, let's set those. Now here's what I do. Up arrow is obvious. Left arrow. Right arrow. Up arrow. And your down arrow. And now here's what I usually do. Your start button, I usually make it the actual start button. Escape can be as highlighted to select, but it's not really necessary in this. So, now that we got that done, you can actually at this point navigate with the drums. Oops, sorry about that. Let's escape out of that. But at this point, you can actually navigate with the drums. And then you'll make sure that GH is the drum kit selected for player one. And then that's done. Now, remember how I told you that we put songs in the song folder? Okay, let's go to quick play. You go to solo play, and then you got career mode or quick play, which I usually use quick play. And then you'll see there's GH, it's already selected. You'll just continue. And here it's going to make you create a character if you don't have one made. Here's the create a character screen. And then what you'll do here is you see it's got a name, you'll just hit enter and then put it in. And there's demo tutorial. Here's where you can set peripherals. And then when you're done, you just go to finish. And there's your new name right there. And here's it shows your peripherals to the character right here. And there's G Ranch peripherals. You can see it's no different. Anyway, so you'll select your character. And at this point, it's pretty much already set for drums. And see, as I was telling you, I already have a whole bunch of songs here. And so you're just going to pick the song you want to play. And this is all in the drums. This is all in my uh, drums deal. That one needs to be fixed. But yeah, this is a drum. And so what you'll do is you will select your drum chart that you want to play. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Uh, and it's going to give you a loading screen. Your loading screen will let you, it's basically like Rock Band 2's loading screen. And then here's your display chart. And you just tap the pads, make sure they work. And there's your kick. 
And that's it. That's how you play. That's how you play uh, Threats on Fire on your PC.